there. I'm Richard Rayther, and joining me now is Melanie Keller. Hello. Who's playing Sally Tally yep. and Tally's Folly. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Melanie. Thank you so much. So, you are a Chicago native? I am. I am. I grew up in Chicago from the north side. Go Cubs. When did you realize that theater was what you had to do with your life? It, it is also one of those, like, I can't remember a time when I wasn't doing some kind of, <laughs> Performing know, for mom performing. and dad. Performing. That's exactly yeah. it. I got to do the Illinois All-State Theater Festival, mm -hmm. and they have an All-State all play where right. they cast from all over the state of Illinois. And uh, then you do, I did it both my uh, junior and senior year in high school, um, and we perform at either Illinois State or uh, University of Illinois. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pretty sure that, that was it. I'm pretty sure that was the like nail in the coffin, because then I said to my mom and dad, well, I know I said I was going to be an English major, but I'm also going to be a theater major. And they kind of went, oh, boy. You went to school yeah. to be an actor. Yes, at I did. Where, where? At Illinois Wesleyan. Illinois Wesleyan. In uh, okay. Bloomington, mm -hmm. Illinois. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. had a great experience, great education. I was introduced to Shakespeare in college through a, a touring group that came in from the UK. Uh, five actors who did a five-person Romeo and Juliet blew my mind. I absolutely <laughs> fell in love with it and uh, and said, well, I have to go to RADA. I have to do this. The Royal Academy, the Royal Academy of Dramatic, Academy of Dramatic Art. Art. That yeah. was the thing I had to do. So then I went and auditioned, and Shakespeare became um, very, very important to me. Um, and I, I, so I got a certificate from RADA and I wound up studying at the Birmingham Conservatory at Stratford at the Stratford Festival in Canada and got a little more training up there so I've definitely been steeped in some Shakespeare. <laughs> Somebody said that um, the training at Stratford is like sprinting a marathon because um, <laughs> it just goes on and on and on and on and on but it's very thorough and very intense um, but it was wonderful and I, I Absolutely loved and it. And you did a season at Stratford. I did, I did. I got to do a season. Um, I got to be in a play with Christopher Plummer, which, you know, <laughs> that's the thing I like to brag about. That um, was the first time in my life that I spent that much time just being an actor and getting paid quite well to do it. Yeah. It sort of ruined me forever. You were a member or were of mm -hmm. two different companies yeah. in Chicago, yeah. Signal Theater and First Folio Theater. Yeah, Signal Ensemble Theater was a, um, we just closed uh, after 13 years a year ago. Um, it was a, uh, a non-equity theater company in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like so many non-equity theater companies, it started in a bar where some, one of our members <laughs> said, let's start a theater company. And so we did. <laughs> and our first play was Much Ado About Nothing. Um, and I had a wonderful, wonderful, experience with them um, and we made a lot of mistakes and we made some beautiful art and, and you won a Jeff Award I did I did do that now, um, the, for those who don't know mm -hmm. the Jeff the Joseph Jefferson Awards yep. uh, named for the actor Joseph Jefferson yep. are kind of like the Chicago Tony Awards yeah exactly the, the, uh, so and Chicago being a mega mm -hmm, theater mm -hmm. mecca yep yep <laughs> it's a big deal it well my mom certainly thinks so <laughs> very proud and, and you're also a member of first folio theater I'm an artistic associate with First Folio Theater in Oak Brook, and they are an equity theater company, um, and they just, it's such a special place. Um, they started uh, performing Shakespeare plays outdoors on the property of the Maze Lake Peabody Estate, mm -hmm. which is an old Tudor mansion, and then they moved inside and started producing shows mm -hmm. inside the mansion, which people say is haunted. I kind of think it might be. Um, and when you do a spooky, uh, you know, Halloween-y show inside a haunted mansion, that's awesome theater. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Now, now you, right now you're doing uh, Sally Tally and Tally's Folly. Yep. So talk a little bit about Sally Tally and who she is. Oh, she's a special kind of misfit. I just <laughs> love her. She is... Uh, an unmarried woman of a certain age, she'll tell you she's 27, she's really 31, and at that time uh, in Lebanon, Missouri in 1944, she might, have well, she might as well have had two heads <laughs> being an unmarried woman at that time. So she meets this Jewish older man and you wouldn't think that would be such a good fit and yet there is something about him that really speaks to her, they really connect. But Sally, for her own reasons, which she'll tell you if you come to see the play, she feels like she's really not worthy of love. So when Matt comes according, despite the fact that she really has feelings for him, she does everything she possibly can to shut it down, including 
biting him. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, it's mostly a conversation, but there is some action in this play. <laughs> And what he says and what he calls her on, he says, you know, what? You're afraid and I'm afraid, but this is worth it. Let's, let's, don't, let's not give up on each other and go back to our own solitary lives. Mm -hmm. These are complicated people. There's a lot They're, of layers. They got a lot of baggage. A lot of layers. <laughs> and there's a lot of layers in the story we deal with. We're talking about war. We're talking about economics. But at the core of it, it's about two people trying to connect with each other.